In countries like Britain, where there is persistent cloud cover, farmers would find radar more reliable for monitoring their crops than conventional satellite imaging systems. But satellite radar echoes are difficult to interpret over land surfaces, as map experts know only too well. Maps of the world have been around for hundreds of years. This is a particularly old example from 1507. Modern maps are considerably more accurate, but till comparatively recently they were still held in paper form. But with the advent of computers, we had to find some way to get the information from the paper maps into a form the computer could use. So these maps have been transformed into grids of height values, and this is called the digital elevation model. Well, nowadays, we're beginning to be able to map the Earth from space using a variety of different techniques. We've been working here with data from the European Remote Sensing Satellites, ERS-1 and ERS-2, from an instrument called the satellite altimeter. Now, an altimeter, which was designed to work over the ocean, works by sending sequences of radar pulses to the surface and capturing the returned echo. The problem is that echoes over land are very complex and difficult to interpret. I'll show you a few examples. For months and months, we looked at literally tens of thousands of these shapes. And as we looked, we began to recognize certain patterns. As we continued to look, we found that more and more families of these echoes were recognizable, and we were able to associate them with different types of terrain. When we finished this, and we coded everything into a computer program, we found we had over 100 million heights over the Earth's land surface. When we started to compare our data with the global digital elevation models, we were really surprised. We started making maps of the differences between the heights we'd got and the heights in the DEMs. In some areas, remote areas, where it was very hard to map on the ground, the differences really are spectacular. A good example is the Amazon Basin. Here, according to existing models, the Amazon Basin is completely flat, with huge 100-metre high cliffs running for thousands of kilometres across it, with presumably the Amazon and all its tributary streams cascading down in what must be an amazing series of waterfalls. Of course, we know this doesn't happen, so we know there is a problem with existing models. If we remap the area with the altimeter, we find this much more realistic picture with the very intricately braided network of rivers and the Amazon just running down the right-hand side of the picture. We decided to make a new world map called ACE. And this shows what happens when we made the new map. Every area colored red we've completely replaced with altimetry. Green areas are areas where we've improved the ground truth. And what we ended up with was this map here in which over 40% of the heights of the Earth's land surface have been changed because they were very significantly in error.